Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today we are continuing Morrowind. So, in the last video, we met with the Ashcan, or leader, of the Zynab Ashlander tribe. Uh, he wasn't very impressed with our story, or the proof that we were the reincarnation of Indoril Nerevar, until we gave him a few hundred gold. Uh, now, we are on a quest to go kill a vampire to help prove that we are worthy of being named the Nerevarine of his people. That probably isn't going to be as difficult as it was just finding this place. Uh, I don't know if you'll remember, several times I mentioned there's no way that it could be directly west of Tel Vos because then he would just say, hey, it's west of Tel Vos. But no, it turns out... Yeah, he sent me from Zainab, north past Nichuleft, all the way over to here. Which, I suppose if he had said, go west from Tel Vos, and I didn't know where Tel Vos was, uh, I remember there was at least some point where a bunch of different, or at least one quest kept telling me to go to a certain spot that I think might have been Vos itself, but nobody told me where Vos was, and I couldn't figure out how to get there. But anyway, uh, we are now at the Nerano Ancestral Tomb, and uh, our fatigue is high, our health is full, and I also took the time to eat all of the cheaper ingredients, uh, and I did save the five rat meat, uh, but I also used the armor's hammer I had on me to repair the Daedric Spear back up to full, so we should be ready to go kill us a vampire kind of a weird angle for the game to start me at, but then again, the mini-map shows that the entire tomb seems to be at a weird angle, which is kind of interesting. Most areas seem to be just straight... Hello, sir. Well, that guy died pretty quickly. Greater Bonewalker, eh? I'm gonna try to remember to eat the bone meal as I go. Who the hell is Danders? Why is there a named dude here? And he had less gold on him than there was laying on the, uh, the altar over here. I wanted to kill those guys in a way that they wouldn't overlap with each other. He didn't have any bone meal on him. That's kind of weird. A uh, note from Bakarak. Morris, you boys better clear out. Our position is given was given away, and we were raided by that bastard Goris. He sent a small band of the dead to Dralis and wiped out all but Luvin. Jesus, just throwing names at me. He was able to make it back here to Nelas to warn us. Uh, we were clearing out and heading out, uh, heading for a new location. I suggest you and your boys get out of there as soon as possible. We have a snitch in our organization. Let me find out who, let me find out who it is, and I'll feed their flesh to the crabs. It seems as though he knows all of our raiding routes. It's just a matter of time before Goris sends them, them damned and dead your way. I'll never turn those goods over. Where'd it go? I'll never turn those goods over to that necro. What's fair is fair, and he had to pay up. You know where I'm coming from. I'm sending Ursine to deliver this message to you. She will deliver a key so that you can gain entry into the rendezvous point. See you soon, and good luck, brother. Bakarak. You know, I'm gonna take that with me. Shirts, bottles... Well, there's Ursine. And she did have a key to the Indaran tomb and was wearing a couple of rings. What else do we got? The Ransom of Zarek. Decent amount of money for that, if I uh, remember to bring it by town sometime. Oop. I don't know why it uh, got me caught in attack mode for a second there. All right, where's my lock picks? And we have an extravagant ring, not bad. Uh, well, there's Morris, who has a key to the Nerano chest. 
I wonder if that was the Narano chest that I just picked open. I checked that one? Yes. Alright. One last urn. Another piece of rat meat. Kinda wish I had come here. That is a trapped door. Come on. That was weird. Kinda wish I had come here before uh, going all over the place looking for rats to kill. I think that's a vampire man. Because he's making odd sounds and his eyes look like they were red for a second there. Hey, it's Calvario. He had vampire dust, which is very expensive, and I do not want to lose that. Uh, meanwhile, I will eat the ectoplasm. Uh, I don't need fire resistance. Elemental resistance was a lot more useful in Morrowind uh, than it was in... I'm sorry, uh, a lot more useful in Skyrim than it was in Morrowind. I don't see anything else. Another trapped chest. What do we got? Uh, a steel gauntlet and a leather helm, both of which are not really worth taking, considering uh, all the ridiculous amount of money I've got on me. Close some doors behind me, just to make sure that if I ever do have to come back, things won't just swarm me. Alright, now sadly, we have to make our way all the way back down to the Zynab camp, which I think I'm going to do off camera, just because the entire trip is one I've made before. So, uh, we will be right back. Alright, so we are now back at the Zynab Ashlander camp, uh, and now we have to go inform the Ashcan, whose name escapes me, uh, that we just killed a vampire to help prove that yes, we are worthy of becoming their Nerevarine. May I help you, Outlander? That's what it was, Koshad. Uh, welcome, Outlander. Calvario. Dead. Well then, perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps you should be the Nerevarine. Well, I am, but I would like it if you named me as such. Well, so you killed the vampire Calvario. Ahem. Well, I will be happy to acknowledge you as Zynab Nerevarine, but it is customary for one seeking an honor from the Ashcan to offer the Ashcan a generous gift as a mark of respect. Because you are an outlander and do not know our customs, I will do you the great favor of naming the gift I wish to receive. A highborn Telvani bride. What? A pretty one, plump with big hips to bring me many sons. That's fantastic. Where will you find a highborn Telvani bride? That is simple. You should visit highborn Telvani lords and inform them that Ashkan Kashad of the lordly Zainab would do them the honor of making their daughter his bride. Surely many Telvani lords would be honored to receive such an honor. Consider carefully the many daughters offered and choose for me the finest. Take counsel with my wise woman, Sonumu Zabamat. She knows my mind well in such matters. That's a little weird. All right. Um. Oh, yeah. Pretty one, plump with big hips. Great. All right. So he suggests I talk to the wise woman. And hopefully she will give me some sort of information on this. Do you seek a wise woman's services or her counsel? Uh, she doesn't have Telvani Bride listed as a topic, so counsel? Kashad wants a Telvani Bride, eh? No highborn Telvani would wed an Ashlander. But I have a plan. Go to my friend, Seville Emeyan, slave mistress of the festival slave market in Telerun, and tell her you need a pretty Dunmer slave to pose as a Telvani lady. Then Seville, uh, Seville Emeyan will tell you what clothes to buy, and will dress her like a highborn Telvani. Then escort the pretty slave to Zainab camp and present her to Ashkan Kashad as a highborn Telvani bride. He won't know the difference. 
All right, so the slave market in Aldrun. What can you tell me about the lady? Uh, she is the slave mistress of the festival slave market. The market is on the northwest side of the village. That's where you'll find her. You may speak. All right, where is... God. Tell a rune? Well. All right. I guess technically the good news is that I have not done cross-country travel in that direction, so it should be decently interesting. Pretty much directly southeast. Uh, times like this may sh make me wish I had grabbed some sort of a... Uh... What the hell tomb is this? Um... Anyway, it makes me wish I had made some sort of uh, speed-increasing enchantment. The Sethan Ancestral Tomb. And this is a road, so maybe it would be worth going along... Jesus, you're fast. Uh... There's a Kaguti? That, that's going to be something I killed earlier. Now, one bad thing I've noticed about the roads is that they're always a little deeper into the earth than the hills, which makes it very difficult to actually see if anything is nearby and going to come kill you. Or at least come to try and kill you. But I'm hoping that I can uh, clear out enough area around here that I can make the trip back with the lady somewhat safe. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me check the signpost. Oh god, the signpost only shows the western directions. Voss and Tel Voss. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. I can just take the... I'll go to Sadrith Mora, take the boat to Telerun, and then once I get the lady, I should be able to take a boat to either Voss, I guess to Voss, and then head southwest, which should be a lot shorter of a trip. Let me save my game, because I want to make sure that if I were to um, divine intervention myself, that I will go... All right, we've made it to Sadrith Mora. Is there anything in here I need to do? Uh, what's my mysticism? 51. Which I think I need it to be 60. For... All right, the cult needs speechcraft unarmored. The Mage's Guild needs mysticism, and the Temple needs mysticism. So unarmored is actually God damn it. That's the one thing I don't want to do is pay to boost up skills that uh, I have selected as ones that I use to level up, because if I do that, then I'm just going to be cranking through character levels and making all of the random monster spawns a lot more difficult. Uh, but meanwhile, mysticism... I can't train any skill higher than the stat that governs it. Um, blunt weapon. What does blunt weapon do? Blunt weapon is strength. Strength is cranked. So for the temple, I'm good with that. Same with the cult. Now, the Mage's Guild is going to be a little bit more difficult because um, Illusion, Alteration, Destruction, Alchemy, and Enchantment, and Mysticism are the ones I can easily do. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where is it? Enchantment is 33, governed by Intelligence. Alchemy is 47, and Mysticism is... Is 51 governed by willpower. So, it actually might be quite a while before we finish off the Mage's Guild. 
because I do want to boost my willpower in order to do it. The alternative being um, yeah, either willpower or intelligence, because the Mage's Guild is all just uh, skills that alteration or alchemy and enchantment what was the other one it was uh it's not speechcraft it was illusion illusion is based ah uh, what the hell i was gonna say illusion is based on personality now i know that alchemy is one of the things in morrowind that is horribly broken so it might be possible that i could um raise or fortify one of my skill or one of my stats and then immediately talk to um, a person that can train me in something that requires a higher skill. The only problem is I don't think I'm going to be able to do that too many times. Like being able to fortify a stat is probably expensive in the form of either alchemy or enchantment. And you can't just rapidly use an enchanted thing in order to crank through. Like, you can't stack an enchantment with itself. I greet you as a friend. So, how the hell am I gonna do that? It might be possible to pay to have, um, not pay, still freaking me out, guy. Uh, it might be able to lower one of my skills or one of my stats, but then I wouldn't be able to, hmm, it would have to be a skill. I'll have to look into that later because otherwise, nice speak, traveler. Jesus. Go away. Otherwise, it looks like. Um, My time is precious, so make it quick. I think I'm going in the wrong direction. No, I need Telerune. Okay. Um, I'll have to look that up later because otherwise, the Mages Guild might be the last faction I'm able to complete simply because uh, everything else is governed by skills that I can just pay to increase. Like Blunt Weapon and uh, such. <laughs> Alright, so I need to find the Slave Markets. Which I can't remember. I can't remember exactly where. I did see them when I was heading through Telerune as part of that uh, as part of becoming Hortator. Was it over here? Alright, am I at least in the right town? Um, the Festival Slave Market in Telerune. Uh, there's an Enchanter. Trader, Apothecary, Smith, the tower itself, as to the underground. Maybe it's to the northeast. Or maybe not, because it doesn't look like there's anything actually over here. Other than shoreline. You're standing way outside of town, and yes. that concerns me a little. I don't know you. What do you want? His name is Stentis Tullius. Uh, nothing here. Oh, here we go. I did remember seeing slave cages in the past. Let me get my uh, stamina coming back. And there is Seville herself, or Seville. 
Welcome, Climbs and Hides, to the Festival Slave Market, the finest slaves in Vardenfell. I'm Seville Emayan, and I know we have the slave for you. Are you looking for standard household slaves, or are you looking for something special? Uh, well, technically, it is something special. Uh, you need a slave to pose as a highborn Telvani lady, Sweet Alma, that Sonumu Zabamat and her cunning plans. I do have the slave you want, Falora Lulervu, a pretty Dunmer girl. But first, you must get an exquisite shirt, an exquisite skirt, and exquisite shoes to dress her in. Go get these exquisite clothes and bring them to me, and then we will discuss a price for her. All right, exquisite clothes. Where can you get exquisite clothes? Tell Mora, Elignan the clothier, she has some very nice things. See these clothes I'm wearing? Exquisite shirt, exquisite skirt, exquisite shoes. I bought them at her shop. Maybe you should try her. When you have the exquisite clothes, we can talk about the something special you are looking for. All right, Telmora is the Telvani Tower of Mistress Dratha, an ancient wizard of the Telvani Council. The small settlement includes a small craftsfolk, a few craftsfolk, uh, and a trade house. Telmora is a good distance north along the coast. You should travel cross country. You could travel cross country, but travel by ship to Telmora is cheap and reliable from the Telerune docks south of here, uh, which yes is actually directly south of here. Um. All right, we can get there through the underground, which is, I believe, the fastest way back and forth, rather than levitating myself back around that friggin' tower. And yes, this brings me straight down to the docks. Nice. All right, so from Telerune to Telmora, and then we find Elignan to buy us some clothes. Uh, ba -ba -ba, travel to Telmora. Speak, traveler. Now, have I actually seen Elignan's place? Berwin? Oh, right, Berwin. There was some sort of a monster trapped in her house. I think for the Fighters Guild? Um, Apothecary, Smith, Nona, Christie. Where the hell is... Hello, Nina. Uh, excuse me, I don't talk with people I don't like. Filthy sweat. Jesus, I was just gonna ask for directions. Traitor. What the hell? Nona's house. Why must you people always pick on the small ones? Go away. You're welcome. Uh, there's Lita's house. What's this? The smith. Do I have anything that needs smithing? Uh. I doubt he has enough money to make it worth my while to I sell anything. I will, but don't take too much time. Uh, ba -ba -ba barter. She has 750 gold. You know what? I'm going to buy both of her cheapo hammers. You don't even have any arrows for me. All right. And I don't think I have anything on me that she would buy back. But at least now I have some more armorer's hammers. That was a little weird. The apothecary. Yes. Um. I don't think I need anything off of you. Getting some restore health potions would not be a bad thing, though. Restore endurance, light, invisibility. And the rest of this is bargain and cheap. That's not really gonna help much. Do I have anything to sell back, though? Attack, strength, I want to keep those. I could sell off some of these Restore Magicka potions that I'm not really going to need. And... There we go, and one Shalk Resin. 
So what do you want? I want to... F that corpse is weird, and then there's a person walking back and forth in the water. How about can't you? Can't you see I wish to be left alone? No, I can't. Uh, I need directions from one of you freaks. Nona's house. I just saw Nona's house. Ooh, almost fell off. That guy has a uh, undead buddy that's walking around with him now. Maybe... I shouldn't be able to see through that. Maybe they're over here. Ah. Here we go. Elegnan. Hello, I madam. I really don't have time for this, so make it quick. I don't believe I've seen an Argonian with such a grand outfit in some time. Can I help you? Yes, you can. Sell me some exquisite clothes. Uh, common shirt. Well, exquisite, exquisite would be in the EX area. Oh, exquisite sh uh, skirt. It's going to be an exquisite shirt, I guess. There's two of them. And then shoes. There we go. Let me just make sure. Exquisite, exquisite, and exquisite. Uh, do I have anything to sell back? No. At least not anything that I'm not sure if I need or not at the moment. All right. And then back across the water to uh, Tellarun itself. Are you the boat lady? Yes. Okay. Back to Tellarun. Back through the underground. Oh. Yeah, I suppose the underground is probably the fastest way. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to run around the place. Yeah, as as long as you get a good angle on that hill, you should be fine. All right. Uh, blah blah blah. Something special. Good. These clothes are perfect. Hold on to them. You'll give them to her when you've bought her. But I need a little more time to coach Falura Lalurvu to play the part of a highborn Telvani lady. I know just the thing we need. Go get a bottle of Telvani Bug Musk perfume. Uh, try Bildrin Araleth, the apothecary here in Telarun, or Jolda Yolda, the apothecary in Telmora. That will make Falura Lurvu Lalurvu completely irresistible. Go! Hurry! Sadly, I did notice the bottle of Telvani Bug Musk in that inventory. I'm waiting. But, uh, did not think I needed it. Alright, so the apothecary is directly east. Is this them? No, that's just the trader. There we go. Standing behind his desk. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. I kind of want to read that read that note, so hold on just a second. Uh, green lichen, muck, potions? Uh, I don't know you. What do you want? Well, I want a bottle of Telvani Bug Musk, my good man. And in return, you will get... Some Daedra hearts. Primarily because they are probably the heaviest thing that's on my person right now. You know what? I do not mind losing five gold in order to get uh, four pounds and some change off of my body. Wait a minute. He might actually have some more of those good potions. Quality, Flynn, he doesn't. Where the... He's got Bargain, he's got Cheap, and he's got Standard. And he only has Standard Fortify Health, not Restore Health. So what are all these potions? 
Oh, those are the quality fortify magic. Never mind. All right, so back west. And uh, I'm pretty sure that the next step of the quest is going to involve picking her up for uh, an escort quest back to wherever the hell, the Zynab camp. And I'm not sure how well uh, escort quests handle saving and loading a game. So I'm going to cut things off here. And then the first thing we're going to do in the next video is going to be uh, handing over the Telvani bug musk and There's someone watching me. friggin people caught on geometry man uh, We're gonna give her the Telvani bug musk and probably buy her as a slave and then the next video will be probably mostly just uh, Bringing the lady back over to the Zynab camp, but anyway as always Thank you for watching and I will see you next time